there, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me today as I play with these gorgeous goodies for Mudra stamps. I love their beautiful little mermaid stamp set you see there and this great new splash stencil. So first up today you'll see me creating the mirror image of this mermaid. That is the current challenge for September over at the Mudra Stamps blog and I'm using a large stamp you can see there that large floral stamp just as my mirror background stamp it will hold the image of my mermaid as you can see it's stamped onto that large floral there and then I put in my paper and I press it down so that the ink transfers over onto my white cardstock gently peel it off got a little bit missing so I'm going to go forward and do the stamping again, put my little mermaid back in on the acetate so she's easy to move in and out, stamp her up with the Memento Tuxedo Black, stamp her onto the background stamp I'm using there which is larger than my image, put back in the black foam and my white cardstock and press her down again to get a better, more complete stamped image. I've still missed a little bit just of her tail and I will use a Copic multi-liner that you can see there just to fill in those little details now. So that's how you can do a mirror stamped image of any images really that you have in your stash that you would like to make a reflective image of. And then I'm going to use my two little mermaids, two little friends together on my card. Right, and now it's time for the Copic colouring. That's why I stamped my Little Mermaids in the Memento Tuxedo Black. So I list my Copic colours up above. This is E30 and then E000 for the skin of the mermaids and I'm going fairly quickly it's fairly easy all this section then a little bit of pink for their cheeks before I then move on to their hair which I have tried to do a few different pretty hues of colour throughout their hair and I'll just let you watch the process now as I sort of blend from one colour to the next and I'll be back when all the colouring is done. Now that all my Copic colouring is done it's time to move on to the ink blended background and I'm using my gorgeous new Distress Oxide inks, the brighter colours that have recently been released and you'll see all the colours up above there with their lids. So I've got Twisted Citron and then Peacock Feathers and lastly I'll be using Salty Ocean. So I'm 
creating here the watery background for the little mermaids to be swimming in and just covering the card with a fairly loose ink blending I'm not stressing too much about um, any you know darker areas or bits that don't blend quite as perfectly as I might normally like because I am going to cover them with the stencil and you'll see what I mean in a minute that does change the look so first of all just spraying on some water dabbing that off and then I've mixed some perfect pearls powder into a little mini misty with some water and I'm sprinkling that on all over and that will just give the watery background a nice pretty shine so a little bit of repositionable adhesive to hold that still taping my splash stencil down over the top and then you'll see me ink blending again over the top of the stencil using the same distress oxide colors over the same spots so it was salty ocean along the bottom and then I'll follow that up with peacock feathers blending right over the top of the splash stencil there and then twisted citron right at the top my ink blending all complete I'm removing my tape and there you can see my beautiful watery splash background a little bit of the shine there from the perfect pearls time now to fussy cut my two little mermaid friends and I won't show you the whole process just a little pair of scissors moving the paper as I go once they're cut out I'm going to stamp my sentiment from the mermaid stamp set in Versafine Onyx Black right up in the top right of the card front there and with some foam adhesive I'm adding my little mermaids. I've taken off the backing of the foam there holding the card still in my mini misty and lying the little mermaids down just hovering above the card until I have them exactly in the right spot sticking their little hands together and some pretty sequins from Mudra and my card is complete. <music> 